Our chief meteorologist Scott Paget has been in the Salina area all day and joins us live with a look at the damage. And Scott, it appears that this tornado out in your area is actually one of the strongest tornadoes that touched down last night, right? Amelia, I'm standing here in the Crow Terra Equestrian Barn, Equestrian Barn, that is, and it's a miracle that it's still standing after that violent EF3 preliminary estimate uh, tornado rolled its way through parts of Collin County and over Salina. All the horses here, it's they're fine. They're sleeping for tonight. The barn is still standing, but there were some horses that were racing for their lives. As a violent tornado ripped through Collin County, just north of Salina, eight horses at the Crow Terra Equestrian Pasture were in a race for their lives. You know, a lot of debris flew through uh, with the tornado and did a lot of damage. It injured a lot of horses really significantly. Three of the horses made it to safety. Four weren't so lucky as winds up to near 165 miles per hour tore through the countryside. We actually had two horses that, that we found um, in trees. They were sort of, it seems as though they were picked up and deposited in the trees. We've, we spent, uh, you know, a number of hours searching the entire property for a horse today. Um, and we ended up finding him off property, over a fence, and, and a tree had fallen on him, but he had been thrown uh, off the property. Uh, it was really significant, and unfortunately, you know, we've lost four of those horses already, and one more is, is significantly injured. Meet yeah. Silver of a Chance, who is living up to the Sliver of a Chance saying. No. Silver of a Chance is his name, and, and he is the fifth and only survivor and right now. So he is fighting, and as long as he will fight, I will give him that fighting chance as well. His eye sustained a deep cut, and it's stitched back together. His left lower leg, though, has a deep gash. Twice a day, his bandages will be changed, but the journey back to health, it's going to be a long one, hoping that his rider can be back in the saddle again. He has a severed extensor tendon, and the prognosis is about 70 to 80 percent chance that it could heal over the next three months or so. Of the four horses we mentioned, all four had to be euthanized due to extensive damage to their legs. The small comfort is knowing that they were actually surrounded by their loved ones and their owners, so they did not die alone. Still such a tragic story tonight. Uh, the Crow Terra uh, uh, Equestrian Barn, uh, they have a GoFundMe page. It's linked to our website, uh, cbstexas.com, if you would like to help support them in any way as they are going to be dealing with these losses uh, for uh, the next few months. Absolutely. Amelia? Scott.